Since 2009, Miami-Dade County has encountered a severe infestation of gumbo limbo whitefly. This video will demonstrate how to positively identify and manage the pest in your landscape. Franklin, one of our uh, most frequently asked questions is how do you identify that you have the gumbo limbo spiraling whitefly? Well, the most important thing is 50% of your cure is a positive ID. What you want to do is you want to look on the underside of the leaf. Uh, the, the insect tends to go on the underside of the leaf and you inspect the underside of the leaf looking for either the spiraling eggs, the actual white fly, or the residual from it. And then you'll be able to positively identify which type of white fly you have. Before initiating any kind of treatment in your landscape, be sure to properly identify what pest you have. And if you have any questions, contact your local extension office. What methods are used to control the gumbo limbo whitefly? There's two basic methods. The one method is to make a foliar spray application onto the plant with, a, with an insecticide. It could be a soap insecticide, it could be a um, horticultural oil, or it could be a chemical pesticide. And you would make a foliar application to the bottom of the leaf to control the heavy pest population on the, on the tree. Or you can use a systemic root drench with a systemic insecticide in the root system doing a root drench on the tree. This will allow it to go up through the vascular system into the plant and into the leaf. When you have an insect like this, which is a piercing sucking insect, it's going to pierce the leaf and suck out the, the, the sap in the leaf and it will consume the pesticide, killing itself. With the root drench, there's less contamination to the air um, and the environment around you in controlling this white fly. Please note that as a homeowner, applying pesticides in your landscape does not require a license. However, when hiring a commercial applicator, verify that they are properly licensed. Can you explain to us, one, how do we determine how much we should put in as far as the chemical and then also what a drench is? Sure. Uh, the first thing you have to determine is how much chemical you're going to need to put in the ground for that tree. And the best way to do that is to measure the three. If you take a normal measuring tape, you can do it with a normal measuring tape or one of these uh, tree tapes, and you're going to measure the circumference of the tree. This is one of the easiest ways. In this case, we have about 47 inches of circumference. To get the diameter, you have to divide it by pi, 3.14. Once you do that, that will give you the diameter. So whether your label calls for a diameter at breast height or a circumference, you can have both calculations. Your label rate will determine how much chemical you're going to need. We can use a simple uh, systemic insecticide that we're using and, you, and most of them will have a measuring device or if not you'll have to get a measuring device and you'll measure the product out and you'll put it in a five gallon uh, bucket of water or any other bucket of water you may have depending on how much water you're going to need and you will mix the product and then you'll take the chemical solution and you will drench the area around the tree and depending on how much root system you have or how big the tree is is going to determine how much water and chemical you're going to need. But it's a very simple application. All you have to do is apply it in that manner. Always remember to follow label directions. Read carefully your label as according to the personal protection equipment that you're going to need to apply this product safely and always follow the label directions on how much chemical is required to do the job.